Welcome to Sleepless News, the A-level student set to become a billion-dollar brand how teen tennis sensation Emma Raducanui teen will have star crossover power like Serena Williams and be a regular at A-list red carpets as brands throw themselves at her the 18 year Old from Bromley, Southeast London, made history today by ruthlessly winning her US Open semi-final in straight sets defeating 17th seed Maria Sakkari 6-1, 6-4 in just 84 minutes for a place in her first major final, thanks to her triumph so far, which has seen her become the first ever qualifier into a Grand Slam final. She's already secured a check for a minimum of $1.25 million, 900,000 pounds, but popular culture and brand expert Nick Ada insists. That's just the start of Emma's glittering success. He told female fans should expert Emma to become recognized globally and have the star crossover power to become an A-list celebrity like Serena Williams, the US tennis champion boasts famous singers Beyonce, and Kelly Rowland as friends. Tim Crow, a sports marketing consultant who advised Coca-Cola on football sponsorship for 20 years, told The Guardian, I haven't had this many calls from clients major brands who are interested in her since Lewis Hamilton broke through in Formula One. If she wins the final, she will become one of the hottest properties in British sport, if not the hottest elsewhere. PR expert Mark Borkowski told the publication he'd brand her the billion-dollar girl, as long as she keeps winning. Tim added that because Emma's multicultural heritage is able to resonate in so many markets, she appeals so far beyond a typical white, British, middle-class female tennis player Nick meanwhile said brands would now throw themselves at the teenage tennis player after her historic U.S. Open semi-final win, and wouldn't be surprised to see Emma grace many glittering red carpet events, including the renowned Met Gala. Emma burst onto the scene at this year's Wimbledon, where she became the youngest British woman to reach the fourth round of the singles competition since 1959. After being handed a wildcard entry, Emma Raducanu's run to the U.S. Open final Q1, 6162 beats Bibiana Schoeth's qualifying Q2, 6375 beats Miriam Bokvad's qualifying Q3, 6164 beats Mar Sharif qualifying R1, 6263 beats Stephanie Vogela R2, 6264 beats Zhang Shui R3, 6061 beats Sarah Saribe's Tormo R4, 6261 beats Shelby Rogers QF, 63 64 beats Belinda Benchich SF. 6164 beats Maria Sakari, and now tennis fans have been heartened to see her fourth round defeat, where she retired with breathing difficulties and dizziness when trailing Isla Tomjanovic 4 6 0 3 hasn't faced her. Emma's incredible performances in New York and at the SW19 tournament have seen her go from 366th in the world rankings to the top 80 increased her Instagram following to a staggering 609,000, and secured her first Vogue photoshoot, which appears in next month's issue. As such her brand appeal is only growing, with Nick noting Emma will become a household name not only in the UK but in the USA and worldwide, which is a real game changer added. At only 18 she is now going to skyrocket both in the sports world, but also as a celebrity. She now has the star power of crossover athletes like Serena Williams and Andy Murray. She will have brands throwing themselves at her. And it's now time for her to carefully decide which offers can be the most lucrative, brand appropriate, age appropriate and have the most longevity. If a top fashion or cosmetics brand is looking to appeal to a younger demographic then she is the perfect choice to bring new fans. I don't see her working with fast fashion but more established companies who have strong brand identity. At her age she will no doubt be conscious of the environment so brands, like Stella McCartney's and Victoria Beckham's would be a perfect choice Nick continued. I definitely see her walking the red carpet at the Met Gala and winning the sports personality year our award meanwhile Chris Southgate, managing director at CHS Marketing Agency, suggested Emma's Vogue shoot could be the start of her transforming her brand from sport icon into celebrity. Chris said her tremendous performance, both at Wimbledon and now the US Open, means that she has the opportunity to become the next big celebrity tennis player, as well as a role model for all British sport. No matter which brand direction she decides to embark on, the one safe bet 
is that she's already well on her way to becoming a national treasure both on and off the court QB Springer, brand expert and founder of www.shebultsbrands.com, also claimed Emma will be the next Serena Williams. Based on her Vogue piece, Emma would work well with young, up-and-coming designers and eco-friendly beauty brands. I also see her doing partnerships with tech firms and new sports and tech apps. Comma. These deals could culminate in a million-plus net worth. We will definitely see her on my red carpets. And this will increase her brand appeal last month Emma said the SW19 tournament was an extremely positive experience, from which she learned so much just about my game, and what it takes to perform at the top. It's definitely shown me how much work I need to do physical of Emma won an army of fans at Wimbledon, admitting in her charmingly humble post-match interview on court that she never expected to make the second week. After her first round victory she gained 30,000 followers on Instagram, and her second win left her with 153,000. She's impressive off the court too. Last month she celebrated receiving an A in maths, and an A in economics in her A-level results, having put her tennis career on hold during the pandemic to concentrate on her studies. Raducanu said on court after her most recent victory, Honestly the time here in New York has gone so fast. I've just been taking care of each day and three weeks later I'm in final. I can't actually believe it. Today I wasn't thinking about anyone else except for myself. While I have the moment I want to thank my team and the LTA and everyone at home for all their support. Since I've been here from the first round of the qualies I've had unbelievable support. As for her chances in the final, is there any expectation? I'm a qualifier so technically there's no pressure on me," she added. Born in Canada to a Romanian father and a Chinese mother, Emma moved to Britain at the age of two and grew up in London. She first picked up a racket, aged five, and played at Bromley Tennis Academy from the age of ten. During lockdown, she could be seen knocking tennis balls back and forth to her dad in the quiet cul-de-sac where the family live. On her Instagram page, the rising star references her global roots listing London, where she lives now Toronto, where she was born, and the two cities where her parents are from Bucharest in Romania and Shenyang in China. Her dual heritage remains important to her and she's spoken fondly of relatives across the globe saying my grandma Maya still lives in central Bucharest. I go back a couple times a year, stay with her, see her, it's really nice. I love the food, to be honest. I mean, the food is unbelievable. And my grandma's cooking is also something special. I do have ties to Bucharest Emma attended Newstead School in Orpington, Kent, where she was described as a model pupil by her teachers at the Selective Girls Grammar School. She achieved 3 9s and 4 s in her GCSEs. Head teacher Alan Blunt said from year 7 she was hardworking, diligent, and actually you wouldn't have known that she was a blossoming tennis superstar alongside it. Her parents have been behind her the whole way with tennis and with school, and they've made sure that the focus on schooling didn't drove, added that her mother Renee and father Ian are always supportive and completely in the zone at parents' evenings. They know the importance of education, he said. They're looking to make sure that Emma is achieving in all areas of her life, that's the school and the sport and that she's also reading books and taking part in extracurricular activities at school. She is an absolute all-rounder. She's calm and level, headed in school, and humble in that she's outperforming in these tournaments. And then she'll come back to school and be sat alongside her peers again and carry on. And you just wouldn't know that maybe last week she was in France Emma's maths. Teacher Sarah Sword 48, who emailed her after her victory against Sorana Kirste at Wimbledon said, She's a really talented mathematician, she's a really talented student. She's very active in class in terms of participating in the lessons, asking questions, answering questions, and she has a very sharp mind. She is going to do brilliantly in her exams. There's no doubt in my mind. She has managed this amazing balance between her studies and pursuing her passion for tennis. She simply level eyed rising star is coached by Murray's father-in-law Nigel Sears, who said she was born to play tennis adding. I knew she was exceptional the first time I saw her has not taken long for Emma Raducanu to show that Wimbledon was no one off and that she is the real thing, Boris Becker said recently. She is someone with charisma who carries herself so impressively 
And most importantly, she looks like she is enjoying her event. 2013 Wimbledon champion Marion Bartoli told Pixwise that Emma is very refreshing for the sport. It's great for the UK especially to have some young and talented players coming through because it hasn't been the case for quite a while, she added. Emma has the potential to break into the top 20 and even further. This is very exciting for British tennis. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe to Sleepless Buddy. See you next time on Sleepless News.